Today we're going to look at graphing square root functions. A square root function is a function containing a square root with the independent variable in the radicand, the value underneath the radical symbol. The, perfect square, the parent square root function is y equals square root of x. As you can see, it is graphed below. Please pause the video and copy these notes. When looking at the graphs of square root functions, we must analyze the domain of the function, or in other words, the values that x is allowed to take on. The expression under the radical must be greater than or equal to zero. In other words, it needs to be positive or zero. Please take a minute and copy these notes. Let's take a look at y equals the square root of 3x minus 9 and determine what the domain of this is. In other words, the values that x is allowed to take on. The value expression underneath the radical is 3x minus 9. That needs to be greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to go ahead and solve this expression for x. We add 9 to both sides and divide by 3 and we get x is greater than or equal to 3. That means all values underneath the radical must start with x equaling 3 or bigger. The graph of this function will then start at x equals 3 and proceed from there. It turns out when x equals 3, y is equal to 0. This is a sketch of the graph for y equals the square root of 3x minus 9. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Copy the following problem down. Please find the domain that is restricted for this function. In other words, what is x not allowed to be? Please pause the video, work out the problem, then hit play to see the solution. When we work this out, what we see is that negative 2x plus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0 because that is the radicand, the part that is underneath the square root. When we solve this, we subtract 5 from both sides. Being careful that when we divide by negative 2, we remember to switch the direction of the inequality. When you divide by negative 2, x is less than or equal to 5 halves, which means x is less than or equal to 2.5. That means when x is equal to 2.5, and we plug that into our expression, we end up with y equals 0. Drawing a sketch of that on the left. Please pause the video and copy this down into your notes.